Found it in pocket change. That's the same nickel. A warrant has produced a record of Morgan's text messages. I've never seen anyone text more than Morgan Mengel did. There were thousands of text messages a day. And Morgan's texts reveal a chilling timeline. Starting two oh, days right. before Kevin supposedly walked out. Right. On the 15th of June, there was some text messages. She's just frustrated. <laughs> She's aggravated. She said, I can't put up with this no more. We have to take care of it. We need to get rid of him. Double D. There's another D right there. Right in here, you gotta go real close to see it. There's another D inside there. Finds a recipe on the internet for liquid nicotine. The poison is fatal if ingested at a high dose. That's it. That's it. Morgan leaves the iced tea where she's sure her husband will find it and then heads back to their apartment a couple miles away. She takes off. Her husband's alone there, so she's not at the crime scene, so she can't be linked to this. Stephen comes into work right after Morgan leaves. He's with Kevin when he picks up the iced tea and starts drinking. <laughs> Stephen texts back to Morgan what's happening. It looks like a G. Morgan Mengel thought this up from the beginning. It was her plan, it was her scheme that ultimately resulted in this horrific death. In a plea bargain, Stephen Chappelle agrees to testify against his lover, and he's sentenced to 40 to 80 years in prison. With Stephen's testimony hanging over her head, Morgan also pleads guilty to the murder of her husband. On February 5th, 2013, she's sentenced to life in prison. The conclusion was in that car, who's on the right? Who's on the right side of the car? Morgan Mangle did this. Yeah, I did. Right there. Two cases. 